schedule. That's the point where I decided to pick the schedule breakdown. Listen, everybody knows that the NHL schedule is 82 games, so I wanted to pick an easy place to start. So the schedule breakdown starts right here. The Nashville Predators will play 82 games this season. The schedule will start on October the 10th in Tampa Bay. It will end on April the 15th at the Pittsburgh Penguins. Games by day this upcoming schedule. On Sunday, the Predators will have six games this year. On Monday, five games. Tuesday, 20 games. Wednesday will feature four games for the Nashville Predators. Thursday will have 17. Friday will have five. And Saturday will feature the most number of games by day at 25. So Tuesday and Saturday, the two biggest days on the calendar. Of course, you would expect that for any NHL schedule. I also broke it down in games by month. In October, to kick off the season, the Preds will have nine games. Five of those will be on home ice, and four of those are on the road. In November, the Preds will play 13 games, eight at home, and five on the road. In December, they'll play 15. Games in the month of December. Seven at home, eight on the road. January will feature 14, six and eight is the breakdown right there. February has 10 games on the calendar, and that's an even five and five split home and away. And then in March, 13 games for the National Purse, six at home, seven on the road. And to close out the schedule, eight games in the month of April, and there will be four at home and four on the road. So when you look at it, the most home games in a month will be in November 8, and the most road games in a month will be in December also uh, the number eight now this I have to highlight and talk about because uh, this is something that's just it's it's wild to me uh, the number of back-to-backs the National Prayers will play this year is eight of them they have eight back-to-backs and four of them half of their back-to-backs will take place in the month of December that means 16 total games will take place in a back-to-back scenario for the Nashville Predators this season five of those games out of the 16 will take place on home ice and 11 will take place on the road there is not a single back-to-back on home ice each of every one of these back-to-backs will require travel after the first game into the second game that to me is just absolutely insane I'm going to bookmark that for the moment and come back to that thought here when I do a little bit of opinion and analysis but let me continue giving you just the facts on the schedule the longest home stand for the National Purse starts on November the 11th and ends on November the 22nd will feature five games they also have another five game home stand on February 27th through March the 7th and very symmetrical they have two five game road trips as well the longest road trips of the season will take place October the 31st through November the 9th on five games And then February 17th through February the 25th will also be a five-game road trip for the Nashville Predators. I have to say the toughest month I think is absolutely December. 15 games, eight on the road, four back-to-backs in that month. That is pretty incredible. Now listen, I mean, starting off the season uh, is not going to be very easy either in October, but the toughest month has to be December. That is a tough schedule. 15 games, 8 road games, 4 of them back to back, and that really leads me into uh, my next point, and then we'll do a little bit more schedule talk, is Philip Forsberg uh, has been known to say and recently, get rid of the back to backs. Uh, eliminate the back to backs, and I have to tell you, after looking at the National Predator schedule and realizing they have 4 back to backs in just 1 month, I truly, truly would like to see the league get rid of the back-to-backs. Uh, what would it require? Adding eight additional days to the NHL calendar, to the NHL schedule. Uh, you want the premier athletes in the premier league on the planet, in the sport, to be able to play at the top of their games. And when you're asking a player to play his hardest, his best game for 60 minutes, sometimes more than that, overtime plus a shootout, and then jump on the bus, jump on the plane, jump on the whatever it is, and travel to another city and be expected to perform at that high a level, we all know it's not possible. We break the games down. We talk about it. The broadcasters talk about it from that perspective of the team is going to wear down in the second and third period of the second night of back-to-backs. Why does anybody want to pay $75 and up? I'm being generous at the floor level there for what ticket prices cost nowadays. But why on the second night of a back-to-back would teams have to charge full price to watch premier athletes run out of gas and become deflated by the third period. I'm with Philip Forsberg on this. The back-to-backs have got to uh, go or be limited or be lessened. I mean, hell, why not just do a a day-night doubleheader like they're doing with the first preseason game uh, today? Just uh, bring up more players and do a split squad game. I mean, why not? There's 
millions and millions of dollars on the line. Fans used to spend a couple dollars to go out to a game. Now fans are on the hook for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars uh, when they go out to games. And back-to-backs, frankly, do not offer a premier product from the best league on the planet. Uh, that's just a little bit of opinion, a little bit of analysis, and, and seeing the Predators having to face four back-to-backs in one month of competition at the highest level. Uh, it's going to be uh, incredibly difficult. I mean, this isn't baseball. It is, in fact, hockey. And when you have to travel after each and every game, it makes it much much more difficult. Ooh, I am good and fired up. I cannot wait. Looking at the schedule at Tampa Bay on the 10th and then at home for the home opener on Thursday, October the 12th. That's going to be the Seattle Kraken. Then immediately back on the road to Boston, back home to Edmonton, on the road to the Rangers, back home for San Jose. The National Predators will be yo-yoing all over the place for the first couple of weeks of the season. It's not an easy start for some really good, tough competition that first week of the season, but I can't wait to see it get underway and stop talking about camp and preseason and all of these other things and find out what this new Nashville Predators is going to look like. So that gives you a good schedule breakdown by the facts, by the numbers, and by the opinion.